the three days of darkness and the end of times. We have been bombarded with so many writings in the social networks from various authors who capitalize on the topic of the end of times during the past few years. There have been a lot of false prophets putting dates on that event. They were all fakes. Nobody knows the exact date, not even the angels in heaven, nor the Son of God. Only God the Father knows. Matthew 24, verse 36 It is true that there will be three days of darkness and two-thirds of humanity will be destroyed. This prophecy has been explained by many saints in the past, but no one has ever known the exact date. Zechariah 13, verse 8 In the whole land, declares the Lord, two-thirds of humanity will be struck down and perish, yet one-third will be left in it. So, we must be always prepared spiritually to face that moment in case it comes in our lifetime. Remember that many past generations have worried about the same subject and they died without living through it. The true end of the world as we know it happens when a person dies. Something that is certain is that we are running out of time and that there will be a moment to face death. Let us be aware and remember that Jesus said that we must judge the signs of the times. Matthew 16, verse 3 Despite of all the prophecies pointing to that terrible moment, we should remember the prophecy of Jonah that Nineveh would be destroyed in 40 days. It never happened because people repented and God relented. Now, God is immutable. It means that he doesn't change his mind. But in his divine will, he has provided divine mercy for those who repent. Should we worry about the end of times? Yes, of course. But not so much about losing our lives, but for the loss of so many souls who live in sin and for being rejected our entrance into paradise. The most common worry of people is to see an end of their lives in the near future. Everybody wants to live as much as possible in this life. They cling to their lives, and if it wasn't for the divine intervention, they would attempt to live forever, getting old and having long painful illnesses. Of course, it's a very sad reality that will affect most of us. However, many may die earlier, even being very young. Therefore, we should live today praising and thanking God as if it was the last day of our lives. Suffering is something nobody likes to welcome, but God in His mercy uses it to pay for our sins, to shorten our stay in purgatory, and to purify our souls and prepare them for eternal life. Jesus suffered a lot, and when we suffer, we partake the cross and his sufferings, and by his holy wounds, we are healed. Let us remember the sentence God proclaimed against our first parents, Adam and Eve, Genesis 2, verse 17, that if they ate of the tree of knowledge of good and evil, they would certainly die. But they didn't listen. They disobeyed and then died. We have inherited this curse from our first parents, and we make it worse by our sins. Death takes place definitely at the end of our lives. This is the will of God, unavoidable. However, to die is to be born again into eternity when we have faith in Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God, our Lord and Savior who came to undo the curse by dying on the cross to give us eternal life, if we convert to Him and live according to the commandments of God. So it is written that we are destined to die and then be judged. 
Hebrews 9, verse 27. Then we must live our lives in a state of grace, which has been provided by Jesus through our faith in Him and our life in the sacraments. Our real fear should be not to live a holy life and then have to face judgment with the possibility of being condemned to hell. Therefore, there is a lot of hope in Jesus Christ for those who believe in Him. To die is to be born again, as Jesus says. John 3, verses 5 to 7 Very truly I tell you, no one can enter the kingdom of God unless they are born of water and the Spirit. Flesh gives birth to flesh, but the Spirit gives birth to Spirit. You should not be surprised at my saying, you must be born again. In baptism we die to the old nature of sin and we are born in Christ to grace. We renounce the inheritance of our first parents, Adam and Eve, and we are born as children of God in Jesus and Mary, the new Adam and the new Eve. John 12 verses 24 to 25 Very truly I tell you, Unless a kernel of wheat falls to the ground and dies, it remains only a single seed. But if it dies, it produces many seeds. Anyone who loves their life will lose it, while anyone who hates their life in this world will keep it for eternal life. St. Paul says, 1 Corinthians 15, verse 31, I die daily, I swear by the pride that I take in you, in Christ Jesus our Lord. St. Paul is truly saying he lives his life as if he didn't have it. Matthew 16, verse 24 Jesus said to his disciples, If any man will come after me, let him deny himself and take up his cross and follow me. Jesus means that we shouldn't give so much attention to our present lives but to our spiritual, eternal life in Him. I finish this reflection with the words of Patrick Peel. Pray, hope, and don't worry. God bless you.